In this video, I'm going to show you how to put your uh, top bar controller behind the login page. Because most probably, when user starts your mobile application for the first time, uh, they will land on the sign in view. And only after user successfully signs in with their username and password, uh, they are taken to top bar application. So um, let's uh, stop this application and then um, go back to our main storyboard and create a new view controller for the sign in page. So I'm dragging a view controller here and this will be our sign in page. I will um, resize it to four inch and we'll create a very simple interface. So I will uh, look for text field. This will be for our first name. And let's create actually a very, very simple uh, user interface and a button. I will give a uh, button a title, sign in, and resize it a little bit. Uh, now, I'm not going to implement entire functionality of uh, user sign in uh, because your mobile application uh, can have back end with parse cloud servers or it will be MySQL database uh, server with Apache web server and or you can have um, a Google Cloud or Amazon Cloud. Um, in this example, in this video, I'm uh, showing you how to switch between different view controllers uh, in your top bar. So uh, I'm I'm not going to write business logic how to send an HTTP request to one of this uh, backend uh, systems. Okay, so and uh, for this reason, I think a uh, very simple user interface is sufficient enough. So we have two fields, or in your case, there'll be, uh, um, oh no, actually we are looking, we're working on sign-in view. So uh, username and password and the sign-in button, uh, which will uh, take username and password and send it to our service side. So uh, let's uh, create a new view controller. I mean, uh, let's create a new custom class for our uh, sign-in view controller and I will call it, uh, I'll, I'm going to new file and then iOS Kako touch class next and that will be sign in a view controller. Subclass of view controller language Swift. Next, create. Okay, custom class is created. Now I need to go back to my main storyboard, select sign in view controller. And then uh, on the right side panel here, I want to switch to identity inspector. And uh, for the custom class, I want to type sign in view controller here. Now, um, very important. Uh, let's copy this uh, value sign in view controller and specify identity storyboard ID um, with the same um, name of our custom class sign in view controller because we are going to uh, be using it later on okay so now we have a uh, um, sign in view controller and i can open it in assistant editor and create an action for our sign in button i will select the button hold control button click drag and drop it somewhere here and from the connection i will choose action and I will give it a name, sign in, button, tap. So when user taps this button, we want to take them to our top bar application. And uh, the way we do it, well, first of all, again, in your case, uh, you will probably read um, values from your, um, you will take username and password, and then you will send an HTTP request to your uh, server side. And then once user is successfully logged in and you receive a response from your server side, this is when uh, you want to take user to your uh, protected page or the uh, top bar application. So the first step here is to uh, uh, will be uh, sign in user. And on the second page, second step uh, will be if a uh, user name and password um, are correct, take user to protected page. And in, in, in our case, in the case of this uh, example, our protected page will be um, 
top bar application. So uh, first, um, um, we need to create a top bar application. I mean, we have it created, but we need to instantiate it in our code. And um, to uh, access top bar application, uh, top bar controller from the storyboard, we need to know its uh, ID. Uh, so let's uh, select top bar controller and then open a uh, right side panel here and switch to identity inspector. Now uh, our top bar controller does not have uh, a storyboard ID. So let's create one. Uh, we'll give it uh, an ID, um, my top bars. Uh, you can give it uh, a different one. It doesn't need to be my top bar. Um, so let's, uh, I will copy my top bar hide the panel, go back to my sign-in view controller, um, open up assistant editor, and uh, we'll um, create a top bar first. So I'll create a new variable. I'll call it my top bar equals self storyboard. I need to reference storyboard. And from the storyboard, I will instantiate view controller with identifier. And here I will paste an identifier I've just assigned my top bar, my top bar. And uh, next I will um, cast it to, uh, I mean, uh, UI top bar controller. Here we go, UI top bar controller. Okay, so now we have a top bar and we can um, uh, take user to this uh, top bar controller. And the way we will do it, uh, we will um, uh, reference uh, our Windows object. And from the window object, we will reference to a root view controller of our application. And then we will assign a root view controller uh, to our, uh, we will assign top bar to our uh, root view controller. So uh, to reference a uh, window object, we, we need uh, to have access to app delegate. So I will go, uh, I will create a new variable app delegate, and that will be UI application, shared application delegate. And I will also um, cast it to app delegate. Okay, now I have um, delegate uh, available and I will reference it app delegate now i can access window object and from the window i have access to root view controller and now i will assign a root view controller i, I mean I, I will assign my top bar to a root view controller of our object and this is it uh, this should take a um, user from sign in page to a top bar or it will um, seamlessly replace sign in with the top bar. So let's run this application and see how it works. Okay, so um, we started an app and it started with top bar. And this is because our top bar is still an initial view controller. Here we have this arrow, which means that uh, which tells uh, application um, to start with the top bar view controller. So let's stop it, uh, close assistant editor, and grab this arrow and point it to our sign in view controller. Our uh, initial view controller will be a sign in. Another way to make sign in uh, view controller initial is to open up right side panel, switch to attributes inspector, and then look for is initial view controller here checkbox. Uh, so select sign in view controller and check this checkbox is initial. That will make this uh, view controller initial. So now our application will start with sign in view. Okay, sign in, let's assume we type in username and password and then we tap on sign in button. Username and password is sent to our server side um, authentication is performed, username and password is correct, and we are taken to the top bar application. So it worked. Uh, now, I remember we created logout button. So let's enable this logout button, and when user taps on it, 
we will take uh, them back to uh, sign out uh, to sign in page so for that i will stop this application zoom out i'll go to log out view here select the button and first of all i need to check uh yes this fourth view controller does not have a custom class we need to create a custom class for this view controller first so i will uh, go ahead create new file uh, ios source cacao touch class and that is fourth uh, view controller next create and uh, i will go back to main storyboard select fourth view controller and either under um, identity inspector custom class i will type fourth view controller very good now i can uh, open this view controller in assistant editor and create an action for my button so i'll select logout button hold control drag and drop somewhere here connection type action and i'll give it a name log out button tapped uh, okay so when user taps on logout button we want to take them back to our uh, sign in view let's look up uh, um, what's the um, storyboard id of our sign in view controller so I'll select uh, view controller open up uh, assistant i mean open up um, attributes inspector identity inspector and then i will select storyboard id here storyboard id sign in view controller i select this value and go back to my fourth view controller where is it okay um and um just like with the uh, sign in uh, page for us to navigate uh, to a sign in view controller first of all we need to instantiate it so i will um create a new variable sign in view equals and then i will refer to storyboard self storyboard instantiate view controller with identifier and here we go sign in view controller goes here storyboard id now when i have storyboard id i need to reference to our uh, windows root view controller and again i will create an instance of my app delegate uh, ui application shared application delegate as app delegate and from app delegate now i can access window root view controller equals sign in view so that will take us back to sign in view and uh what why is it all right as um and that's uh what is the sign in view controller okay now it's correct okay so let's uh run this application and see how it works now okay we start with sign in we tap on sign in view and we are taken to our top bar controller I will go to our fourth view controller and here I will tap on logout and I'm taken back to sign in view. Try again. Next, logout and I'm taking to a sign in view. 